I will show you how to link your AWS account with Pure Lender. Uh, so first of all, uh, you gotta have uh, an AWS account. So just sign up uh, if you don't have one. So let me sign in. Uh, what we need is IEM. Go here, users. So we need to create a user. If you have one, just forget about it and add a new user. So let's name it Pure Lender. Okay. Now click next. Uh, come here, attach policies. Now we want to add three policies. Uh, one of them is Amazon S3 full access. So just paste it here and select it. Okay. Another one is CloudFront full access. Paste here and select. The third one is AWS Certificate Manager. Paste, select, and click next. We have the three permissions. Uh, we will add them to the user create. We have created the user. Now we need the we need to go to security credentials of the same user we have created. Okay, security credentials. Scroll down. Uh, create access key okay uh, choose this one third party service click on this one give it a description so just type something like this create access key now this is the access key and the secret access key you will only be displayed once so make sure you copy them copy and secret key access copy okay now let's go back. This is all we need from AWS. This is all we need. Now we will come back to Pure Lender. We will go to AWS integration. Click on here. Now add new AWS account. Now we will name it account one in case you have many AWS accounts. So this is, we will copy the access key. Put it here. We will copy the secret access key as well put it here click on link now it's linked okay uh, let's click on the account now we will need to create our bucket and create CDN and link our domain name with it so let's go and create new bucket let's name it bucket 3333 it says this name is already taken. Let's name it clicky click click clicky click. Okay. This is the name of our bucket. Now let's click on manage bucket. Now this is what we need. Let's create the CDN distribution. We need to, f to we need to complete all the four steps. So we'll create the CDN distribution first. Okay, it's created. CDN distribution has been created. Now, what we need to do uh, is we need to get us a domain name so we can link it with our uh, CDN distribution. Uh, I will buy this domain name. I will shut up and I will speed the process so we can do it quickly. Okay, we are back. Uh, we have purchased the domain. So let's go and manage it. You just go to domain list in case you don't know where. Go to domain list and click on manage the domain we just bought. Now what we want, copy this and paste it here. Okay. Paste the domain name and click on add. Now we have added the domain name. Now the other thing you need to do, you will come here to the domain name. You will go to uh, redirect email 
in you will add catch all email and you will make it any email you want I will make it my personal email and I will click on save okay the other thing is you will come here and you will copy this distribution this CDN distribution link you will copy it and we will, you will come back here and you will go to advanced DNS and you will remove these records remove you will add a new record you will choose a CNAME record uh, www and you will paste your distribution domain name and th this one make it automatic and click on save perfect now you will come here uh, the two steps are finished you need to create an SSL certificate for this domain so create an SSL certificate so basically everything will be done from pure lender you don't need to log into your AWS account anymore so create certificate give it some time okay the certificate it says that it's created uh, the certificate is created but you you still going to get uh, some validation emails okay so uh, you will go to your email and see if you got them okay uh, you will not get them quickly you need to wait like 20 minutes or 15 minutes or so so I will wait like 15 minutes and I will uh, come here and resend validation email okay so I will uh, leave uh, for like 15 minutes and I will try to resend the validation email and see if I will get the validation emails okay but what is important make sure you come here and add this catch all email this is very important so I will leave for like 15 minutes and I will come back and I will try to resend again I have uh, waited like uh, 15 minutes or so I haven't got any email uh, I will try to resend the validation email again now I have checked my email it seems that I haven't got anything yet so I will wait like for another 15 minutes or so or 20 minutes and I will try again I have waited like 50 minutes uh, let me try to resend again I haven't got any email now let me try to resend again okay it seems that I got them okay I have seen the notification uh, as you can see I have got the validation email uh, for the www.clickyclick.xyz and clickyclick.xyz in case you didn't get them sometimes you get uh, the domain .xyz or whatever and the one that has the www in them you get them sent to here to the junk email or spam folder so let me uh, confirm I will confirm clickyclick xyz approve and I will confirm uh, the ww1 as well approve okay now I will come back here when I reload I will see that this I will see that the certificate will be issued and no problems at all so I will click outside here and we see we have only one step left so let's it says that the domain name not link so I will click here link your custom domain uh, I will uh, I will link this domain now I will choose the certificate the one we created earlier I will click on link now it says that our domain is linked if we refresh again we just refresh again
we will see that the domains are linked and the certificate as well uh, everything is good now let's click on this link when you see something like this it means that it's working okay now uh, we, we have created our bucket and we created the CDN link as well and we linked our custom domain name with it so what we are gonna do now is we will go and create a landing page and deploy it okay so it's very simple now you just come here and choose any landing page you want okay uh, LP1 create very simple now all you have to do is click on this deploy button uh, you will get uh, this part I will I will name it LP1 for example and I will if you have many EWS accounts you will choose one of them and uh, I will I have two buckets now I will uh, I will click this bucket the one that we have created earlier okay I will choose it and I will click deploy now our landing page will be live you see it's live uh, this is the bucket link uh, this is the CDN link of Amazon and this is the our domain name linked with CDN so this is what you want always focus on this one this is what you use all the time CDN with domain link so this is it now let's deploy another landing page the same thing I will name it quickly I will click on deploy uh, I will name it LP2 uh, keep in mind this LP2 or LP1 or, or whatever you write there is this one the folder is this one here so I will make it LP2 and I will choose this bucket the one we created and I will click deploy and it's going to be deployed in seconds no problems you see uh, clicky click dot xyz lp2 slash index dot html this is what we want and you can deploy also from you can also deploy from here no problems uh, if you go to my lenders you can go to any folder and you can click deploy from here as well no problems the same thing happens as well uh, one of the best things you can do is that you can create multiple buckets and each bucket will be linked with a specific domain name another thing that you can do is that for example this bucket you have this bucket okay uh, it's full of landing pages uh, and this domain name got spammed by chance so you don't need to create another bucket and do all the, uh, and upload deploy all the buckets again so you will just replace this domain name with another domain name and you will uh, finish the other steps you will, you will uh, add the domain name and you will create the certificate and you will link it and the files and everything will stay the same and you don't have to deploy all of them again and if you are stuck with anything or you encountered any problems uh, you will just contact pure lender support team and we will do our best to help you and uh, fix all of your problems.